everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Mohammed from Mass Code Tech, and today's lesson is if statements. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe this video, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's hop right into the video. So guys, let's start by making the variables. The first one will be variable x, which is going to be 20, and we'll be controlling the x position of the shape. And the second will be ball speed, which will be controlling the movement of the ball, the speed of the shape. And it's going to be 2. Don't forget the semicolon, or else the code will not work. Now. Let's go ahead and make a function, the draw function, which is used to make animations. And spell it right, draw is equals to function, followed by parentheses, and open curly bracket, skip a line or two, and the close curly bracket. In between the curly brackets, we're going to start by making a background. Background, followed by parentheses, and a semicolon. Now in between, the, click on the background and select the color. Let's go with light blue for now there we go now we'll make two el ellipses circles that's gonna bounce and bounce like a bouncy ball from side to side the first one will be red red and then ellipse followed by parentheses and a semicolon and between the parentheses we'll will be typing x which is the position and the position should stay the same x the y position will be 66 and the height and the width for the shape will be 64 and 64 there we go the first ball is ready now the second one the second square circle the second circle is gonna be black which we have to type in the numbers 0, 0, 0. Don't forget the semicolon. Now, ellipse followed by parentheses and a semicolon and x space. The y value will be 176. And then the height and the width are the same. 64, 64. Now, we will be moving the ball, which is x is equal to x plus ball speed. Let's go. Don't forget the semicolon. Let's run code. There we go. The two circles are here. There is a problem. The ball, the two circles don't bounce off. They should bounce off from here and go right here this way and then come back from here to here so let's try this is where if statements come in so to make an if statement you type in if followed by parentheses and a quick important note the if statement should always be inside a draw function if you're making a Thing like bouncing at bouncing balls like that so if followed by parentheses and a semi parentheses and then an open curly bracket skip a line or two a close curly bracket so in between the parentheses of the if we have to that's the command we type in and in between the open and close curly bracket that's the code we run the code to run so let's start by making the command which is going to be it the ball should bounce off this edge if the x is greater than greater than 465 and the code to run will be ball speed will go negative will go back negative 2 semicolon and now the second one second if statement which will be right here if 
comma, the parentheses, the curly bracket. Now, this should be x. If x is less than 35, the ball should go back where it came from. Now, let's go ahead and try if it works. Don't forget to type in the ball speed. Ball speed should be positive 2. Don't forget the semicolon. Now, let's try and run code. I think it works. Yep, there we go. The balls are bouncing. Now, let's change the numbers to, uh, to speed so you can see it nice and clear. There we go. We made it 5. There we go. The ba balls are bouncing from side to side. That's a cool program to make. So, make sure to try this program and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And bye. I'll see you next time.